Hey, Keith and Andrew from Seriously Strong Training. Today we're gonna to show you how to do the couch stretch. It's a great stretch for your hip flexors. Um, if you find those are tight when you're squatting, deadlifting, or doing any other kind of lifting, uh, the couch stretch can be a great one for you to warm up with. It's called a couch stretch because it's great to do at home, at the end of your couch. We don't have our casting couch today, but we do have this bench and we've got a pad. Um, if you're gonna do it on a hard floor, I highly recommend you have a pad, a yoga pad, or just something to soften the, you know, the, the impact on the knee so it's a little more comfortable and you can focus on getting a stretch instead of being in pain. Um, about you know, 15, 18 inches off the ground is a good place. You just wanna be able to put the back of your foot on it while your knee is on the ground. We've got a pad here, Andrew's got it set up and he's gonna get into position here. He's gonna show you with his left leg first. So top of the foot down, knee there. So we're about vertical here. Look, he's sitting nice and tall, proud chest. He's gonna go ahead and put his hand on his hip here and then he's going to press his hip forward and he's gonna to start to feel that stretch in the hip. Something that can be really useful when you're doing this exercise is if you squeeze your glute as you're doing this, it's gonna help you get into a deeper stretch. And then what I talk about in some of my other stretch videos is instead of thinking about how long am I doing this, think about how many breaths am I doing. A good starting point is three to five breaths and you can even pulse with these. So when you inhale, you would be leaning back and then as you exhale, you're gonna push into that stretch a little harder. Long, slow inhales, long, slow exhales are gonna help you get the most out of this exercise. And once you've hit your three to five breaths on one side, you'll just switch sides and do it on the other. 